Yes, yeah, so guys, welcome back to um, Ikuriku TV. Very quickly, um, let me give you the update we have at hand. Um, this is about those who are steering boat. Now, what does that mean? I'm talking about those who um, ride the boat from their destination. Maybe it could be Libya to Italy or um, from France to um, UK. Okay, you know that... Um, the deal is um the person who is riding the boat must not be mentioned okay uh, we always tell them nobody <laughs> nobody drove the boat because they are always looking for the person if they see you that you are the one who are, who is driving the boat among the you may not find it funny you may end up um, in prison okay that's what they do to those people who ride those boats that um brings uh, immigrants to europe right so very quickly um let me give you the update of what is happening in the uk now and what they do to people who steer boats if you are caught now they say that uk a senegalese migrant who steered boat across english channel has been convicted of manslaughter you can take a look at that here for riding the boat that brought other migrants to the country now they have charged him and they say that also that United Nations is also warning the UK of carrying out the um, Rwanda migrant deal, just like um, um, Italy and Albania has done. So, but that of the UK is that they left everything EU. They don't even have anything to do with EU or close by. They went to Rwanda, long, long, Rwanda, long, long. So. <laughs> UN is saying a no-no for that. Okay, let's take a look at it. So before you drive any boat coming from Libya to Italy, listen to this news. Although it is not always our people, it is Gambia. Hey boy, we have the power boy. And you know they don't pay. Ghetto buses and then the driver. Now, a young Senegalese man who is convict, uh, who survived a migrant uh, shipwreck in the English Channel in 2022 has been found guilty of manslaughter. Ibrahim Abba argued that a Kurdish migrant smuggling gang had forced him to pilot the boat. You know, it is it has always been the story. Oh, they were they forced me to drive the boat. You know, if I don't drive, they would kill me. Now, on Monday, February 19th, a jury in Canterbury, Southeast England, found Ibrahim Abba guilty of causing the death of four people in December 2022 for driving that boat that maybe capsized and four people died. They said that he is the, it is his fault because he was the one piloting that boat, riding the boat, steering the boat. Okay. The conviction followed a previous trial in July 2023 in which the jury was unable to reach a verdict. Barr has been held in custody for 14 months. You can imagine that. So this person traveled to the UK from France. How has he enjoyed that uh, that uh, relocation now? He's now in prison. He has spent 14 months in prison already. No freedom. Hmm. Would have been better for him to remain in France there. The homemade infl inflatable boat was carrying about 43 people on the night of December 14th, 2022. When it began to take in water, the court on Monday head. It ripped apart before all the passengers could be saved by a nearby fishing boat. The total number, the total number of deaths is still unclear. Hmm. But four men are known to have been to have drowned. One of the victims was named Al Haji Ibrahim Aba, an 18-year-old from Guinea, who had travelled with Ibrahim. Ibrahima from Libya and whom Ibrahima referred to as his brother. The two others who were identified were Hajru, Hajratula Amadi from Afghanistan and Musa Konate, a 15-year-old from Guinea. Okay. Um, according to the prosecutor, Duncan At Atensen Bar had steered the migrant boat in return for a free passage. Now, they have known the story. Those who ride this boat, those who steer the boat, does not pay for that journey. Okay, you that is being driven, 
you are the one to, that we pay. But those who dared steer the boat does not pay. And had owed a duty of care to the others on board. Everyone else on board had paid thousands of euros to make the journey, a Crown Prosecution Service statement said. But Bar was not trained or licensed to skipper the dangerous uh, and poorly equipped vessel, which was carrying a sufficient life jacket and had no flares or radio on board, Atkinson added. He was aware that the boat was overcrowded, lacking in safety equipment, and he, as it took in water, that was increasingly, increasingly un unseaworthy. The court heard that several migrants had described water reaching their knees within 30 minutes of leaving French coast. Despite these increasing and obvious problems, the defendant continued to head into UK waters, Atkinson said. Okay. Showing rescue operation on channel on December. Now Ibrahim helped us survivors take court. So this is how this uh, guy now has ended up um, in prison in UK for leaving uh, France into the UK, crossing the English Channel. Now the whole blame is on him. All the people whom he steered are walking free in UK. But he's the one bearing the blame and brunt of those who droned inside the um english channel waters okay now they say vast conviction of charges of manslaughter and facilitating a breach of immigration law represent the first time a migrant who piloted a boat to the uk has been found responsible for causing harm to other passengers prosecution of alleged boat drivers for causing death rules of fellow migrant is common in greece where one man known as mh convicted of smuggling was initially sentenced to 142 years jesus jesus 142 years imprisonment he was subsequently released but human rights groups have continued to bring attention to similar cases such as the samos 2 and the paro stray the uk government has made it criminal offense to arrive in the country without a visa or valid document this means it is impossible legally to travel to the UK to seek asylum, despite this being a universal human right. So that is the law that the UK is putting in place. Now, it is now illegal for you to enter the UK without visa. So even if you go through the Mediterranean Sea, go through the English Channel, they will not recognize you for asylum. Daniel Shohege, Director of Human Rights, uh, advocacy group stand for all wrote on twitter ibrahima is likely just the first this is the criminalization of asylum captain support uk group campaigning against the criminalization of migrants charged with smuggling or facilitating illegal immigration responded to the conviction of bar saying it reflected a violent escalation in the prosecution of migrants to stop the boat in news release the group also said Racial profiling had played a part in the case. Barr is due to be sentenced on February 23rd. His supporters plan to protest in London and Canterbury, where the sentencing is hearing, is to um, is hearing or to take place. So you can see that what is uh, happening. So before you steer any boat into UK from France, bear this in mind that. They have made it illegal for anybody itself to come to their country without visa. Okay, and then um, the United Kingdom is also warning those, um, warning, um, uh, um, UN is warning UK not to send asylum seekers to uh, Rwanda. You know, that's the plan now on board. They want to send all the asylum seekers in their country to Rwanda to process it, just like Italy has done. But UN say that it is not uh, bearable that they should stop that. But if they pass it in their laws, they are going to carry it out. Let me know what you guys think about it. Is it okay for them to go and process asylum all the way to in Rwanda? Hmm. It won't be easy because any paka is easier for you to just enter road. They go your country. They will just put many bicycles and then before you know it, you are going to your country from Rwanda. <laughs> You are no longer in Europe. That is very bad, Sha. So um, before you make that move into the UK, think about it because they have criminalized it. Thank you and share this video. God bless you. I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye for now.